everyone. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was actually filming. So, <laughs> good morning. It's been a long while, I feel like, since I've actually sat down and filmed a video. So, if I'm a little awkward, please excuse me. I feel like I'm awkward anyways, so I really don't think it's gonna be any different than normal. But it is a bit overcast and gloomy outside, so I hope the lighting is okay. I want to test out a product today, regardless of the weather. I really should not be sitting here chit-chatting. I've got to go, as per usual. I've got a YouTube Made Me Buy It product. It's upside down, isn't it? Good presentation skills, Cassie. If you didn't read the title, slash if you don't recognize this packaging, well... Where have you been? I mean, I guess it's been a while since probably you've heard anyone mention one of these, but I finally got around to buying one because, you know, sometimes you have feelings and you have to cure those feelings with expensive makeup products that probably are not anywhere near worth what they charged me. Ding! Um, <clears throat> Let's see what Sephora has to say about this blush. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. It's $35 for 0.15 ounces of product. <laughs> I know. What it is, a groundbreaking hybrid that combines the customized lighting effects of ambient lighting powder with a spectrum of breathtakingly modern hues for seamless, soft focus, and multi-dimensional color. What it does? Basically, this is a cutting-edge collection of finishing powders with an array of vivid cheek colors, creating a hybrid product that is unique, contemporary, and revolutionary. Unlike traditional blush, which tends to be flat, ambient lighting blush uses photoluminescent technology, <laughs> had to capitalize that, to exhibit depth and dimension. The airy, lightweight powders contain optically transparent particles that amplify the colors to a multi-dimensional level. Wow, okay, so... Hourglass, you have a way with words. This, you make it sound pretty freaking fantastic. And people definitely do say that it is that fantastic, so I'm excited to find out. You're supposed to quote unquote, apply with the Hourglass Number no. 2 Foundation Blush Brush, but I didn't have $58 to spend on a brush, so um, I'm just gonna use it with an e.l.f. brush because that's my price range. And yeah, swirl the entire compact with your brush, pick it up, blah blah blah. All right. These are huge on Blogger, on YouTube when they first released, which I, it feels like years ago because, like I said, I just lusted over them and never actually had one, so it felt like a very long time. Probably hasn't been quite that long, but, you know. I got the shade Mood Exposure. I think it's very fall appropriate, so I feel like it should be appropriate now that it's finally starting to kind of cool down. The weather's been very up and down lately, much like my emotional state. So. You ready? Let's all sing the song together, shall we? YouTube made me buy it, and now I'm gonna try it. <sighs> Something about coming up with your own jingle is just <sighs> so satisfying to the soul. Truth be told, I have already opened this. I have not touched it, but since I ordered this online, I had to check to make sure that I thought my swirls were as pretty as they could be. Judge me all you want, but if I'm gonna drop this much money on a blush, I better like my swirl pattern. <laughs> Cause I've seen some, you know, where different people have bought them, and some of them are like really boring and like don't have the nice swirled effect and they're just not as pretty. I wanted a pretty one, so I was going to return it and get a different one if I didn't like the swirl pattern that mine came in. Thankfully, I think my swirl pattern is beautiful. This particular color it's described as a soft plum. I would say so. Yeah, it looks like a soft plummy color. Okay, first I want to touch it because everyone talks about how soft it is. Ooh, very soft. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a finger swatch for you if anyone's curious about that. Ooh, there's a swatch. On the back of my hand, focus, please. Okay, I'm excited. Let's put this on my cheeks. Okay, hello. As it said to do, I'm just gonna swirl. Okay, it's very powdery. Hopefully, that doesn't really matter. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. <laughs> so, there's the blush side, the non-blush side. Can you see a difference? I can. Bring some nice color into my face, which 
I have been kind of void of because I've had to go into shut-in student mode lately. There's definitely like a kickback of the powder. I don't know if you've been seeing that, but it definitely has kind of... But we'll see. Hopefully that stays. I think it looks really pretty. Can you kind of see? It does definitely give that kind of a glow, which I miss. <laughs> put a little more blush on one cheek than the other. All right, so I am going to get going. There's not too much to report on, you know, it's it's just a blush, feels good, you know, doesn't feel like anything. I have got to go and assist teaching my painting class right now, so I'm gonna go do that. It is currently 7.23 in the morning. Not much else to say. I'm just gonna get going and I will check in later. I don't know what. You know, blush video review isn't quite as needy in terms of check-ins as like a lipstick one that I usually do, but I will check in with you guys periodically just because I like you so much. I will just see you then. Bye! Usually I spend a bit longer at my studio during the day on these days, but uh, not feeling it. <laughs> I'm exhausted, I only got a few hours of sleep last night, and I just figured I would check in with you all really quick here, kind of, you know, halfway through the day type of a thing. It is currently just a little bit after one o'clock in the afternoon, so there you go. How's the light? Can you see? Is it too bright? Is it too dark? <laughs> okay, well, it's still on my cheeks. Can we just, can we trust me when I say it's still on my cheeks? I know I am looking ultra shiny right now. That's because for about a week it was fall, and then it turned back into summer. And then last week it was fall again, and now apparently it's summer again because it's 75 freaking degrees outside. <sighs> Like said, I think you can definitely still see the blush on my cheeks, so that's good. It's hanging in there even through all the sweat and whatnot. I'm not doing much this afternoon. I just, you know, gotta get some schoolwork done. I gotta eat some food because I'm hungry and, you know, survival is a thing. I'm gonna get some housework done. I just, you know, stupid things like I gotta clean the toilet bowl and I have to vacuum. So I am going to do those things. And I will just check in with you all at the end of the night to see if the blush has lasted through the daily shenanigans. And by shenanigans, I mean the boring day-to-day -day life stuff. But I'll see you all soon. Bye! Alright, hello everyone! Um, hair's in the way. Uh, I'm just doing the final check-in. I'm so ready to end today and just go to bed and be done with it all. It is currently 11.50 p.m. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, I really I haven't been doing too much. I just filmed my best and worst beauty video for the month. Homework and editing and took like an hour nap, which felt really nice. It felt like 20 hours long, which is sad. I think that goes to show how sleep deprived I am. <laughs> yeah, you know, dinner, I don't know. It was a normal night full of student nothings, so I'm sure some of you can relate. <laughs> I know in this lighting you're probably not gonna be able to tell like at all, but the blush stayed, definitely stayed on my cheeks there, even though I do sleep on my side. I think I was sleeping on this side when I fell asleep, but it's definitely still there. So, 
I'm impressed, well done. I'm probably still gonna say I really don't think this blush is worth, what was it, $35? It is beautiful, do not get me wrong. I just think there are so many other blushes out there that work just as well for a much lower price tag. So yeah, I mean, I really, I think this is a great thing if you really want to treat yourself to something luxurious, if you want to treat someone else to something luxurious, if they are a makeup enthusiast. They really are pretty to look at, they are pretty on the cheeks, but like said, I don't know. Maybe I would have a different opinion if I were more of a blush enthusiast, but I'm definitely a lipstick enthusiast. I like blush, don't get me wrong. I just, it's like, I feel like if I have even three blushes, you know, I'm set for the rest of my life. With lipsticks, I could have two million. Or nail polish, I could have a bajillion. It's never enough. Blush, Eh. It's one of those things that's nice to have in my collection, but I don't need it. I mean, if it were like $20, yeah, 15 definitely. I would probably buy all of them just because they're pretty to look at. That's besides the point. They're never going to be that cheap. Uh, Hourglass is just too pretty of a brand. They can sell their good looks for high prices. Isn't that the way? So yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. I hope I covered everything. I feel like with blushes, it's like, what do I need to tell you? I told you about the longevity, the pigmentation you saw, I don't know, uh, texture. I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing well. Like I said, I hope the review was helpful. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!